Hello and welcome to Brogue. This is one of my favorite roguelikes ever. Ever since it uh, dropped on my radar, I believe in 2015, I read a Rock Paper Shotgun article about it. Uh, I've been playing it off and on ever since. I've never beaten it. And that's kind of the reason why I'm recording this and why I'm starting this series, because I want to I wanna commit to finally beating this game that I, I love. I'm not going to go through uh, all of the details about how to play the game, what the game is and all that. I might make a, a uh, like a tutorial video about it in the future, uh, tips and tricks and such, uh, such when I get uh, more reacquainted with the game and when I will get better at the game. Because at the moment I'm not very good at this game. I would in fact say I'm pretty bad. So the game actually started us out in a very interesting starting location right now. First of all, I'm going to read the, the top message because this is the first video and I gotta do that. Hello and welcome, adventurer, to the Dungeons of Doom. Retrieve the Amulet of Yendor from the 26th floor and escape with it. Press question mark for help at any time. So, we've been started right next to a chasm with a bridge, which is really cool because if we get, um, get something that can push enemies, this is an easy way to, to mess with them and kill them or just toss them down to the next floor. Which we can also do if we uh, run out of inventory space. Or if we get into a really bad spot, we can just leap off the uh, the edge. Nothing's gonna really give us much trouble on the first floor, though. It's cobalt and rats and stuff. A scarlet potion, which we don't know what it is yet. Sleeping rat, easily dispatched when we only have leather armor and a dagger. We started with one potion, an aquamarine potion, along with our darts and some food. I don't think we're going to identify the potions yet. I think we're going to wait until we get further down. There was a strategy I read a long, long time ago, so I barely remember most of it, uh, whereby you would wait to try to identify any of your magical items, like potions and stuff, until we get further down, and then hope that one of them is a potion of detect magic, because if you're carrying a lot of stuff with you, then it's going to detect all of that, as well as all of the stuff down uh, on the on the dungeon floor you're standing on. That way you can save some resources if you have more than one potion, for example, or, or whatnot. Also, there's no water here, so... Well, there is here, but uh, there's also some foul-smelling mud and gas. Explosive swamp gas. I was about to say, water is good for testing... Uh, potions next to because if you drink a potion of incineration you have an easy source of um, of dousing material not so much when it's also filled with explosive swamp gas Let's see how many scrolls do we have one three potions a pink potion four potions Oh, yeah, I keep I keep trying to uh, to go around corners, which you can't do in this game, which is really interesting actually. In uh, in most roguelikes, you could just walk around corners uh, to attack enemies across, around corners and stuff, but you can't here, which creates a lot of interesting tactical situations where you can, for example, camp in doorways, which you can't really do in other roguelikes because if you do that, the enemy can attack you from three different directions here. So this is a blood blood wart, which uh, you can actually hit to heal you. How much health do we have? Can we find out somehow? An, like an exact number? Don't think so. Usually when I'm like playing this on my own and more more accustomed to the game I will just hit X to, to auto-explore to find the way down and to find all the items. Now though, I want to take my time in order to um, to go through everything we, uh, everything we see with you guys. We still haven't seen the way down. Have we? No, I, no we have. I'm, I'm, fuck, I, I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I keep expecting there to be two of these, and when I only see one, I'm like, there's no way down. Alright, we got a caustic gas trap. That's awesome for... Um, well, for uh, messing with enemies. I remember the first time I realized there's a there's a lot of enemies in this room. I can't beat them all. There's a trap, but it's too far away. What do I do? I can't st I can't run over there. They're gonna hit me, and even if I step on it, I won't be able to get out because the damage is gonna kill me. 
So I opened my inventory and I threw a scroll that I didn't want onto the trap. And it activated it. <clears throat> that, those kinds of like small interactions are really interest. Oh, oh yeah. Those kinds of small... I need to stop telling that story. So uh, I picked up a key off of an altar right now and it triggered a trap, which is causing the floor to collapse in the other room. Which I didn't really have much choice there. Which sent me down to floor number three. I see a steel wand and I see a pit bloat, <laughs> which can potentially send me down to floor number four. This is a fast track to floor 26, boys. All right. I'm going to throw a dart at it to uh, prevent that from happening. Oh my fucking god, it's a Neil. The scariest enemies in Brogue are these E-boys here. The eel slips silently through the subterranean lake, waiting for unsuspecting pre uh, uh, I can't even speak. Unsuspecting prey to set a uh, foot in its dark waters. Yeah, those uh, those have been the bane of many a, uh, a run. Usually when you have maybe like a one tile wide passage across a lake, You'll, uh, you'll chance it and run across, and then suddenly, I don't know where, four eels just come and ruin your day. And I've got little health, so I'm... Oh god, there's an eel right there. You hit something and I can't see it. Fuck. Oh god. Time to try potions, boys. Because we're on depth three, which I believe is where you're going to start doing this, technically. And I don't want to stop moving because we have no health. I'm going to drink the aquamarine potion. It is a potion of potion gas. <laughs> of course, they gas. You can feel the purple gas eating at your flesh. You die. Well then, that's been uh, that's been broke. Press space or click to continue. Press I to view your inventory. We had a oh, we had no scroll, uh, no po potions of healing or life. We had a potion of strength. So here we can see some of the potions we can try to get uh, later on when we play this. A wand of plenty, what are you? Oh, it clones things. That's that's awesome. Too bad we won't get to play with it. Killed by a cloud of caustic gas. By my own doing. Let's try again. Aquamarine potion. Now that that one isn't going to be the same. It's not going to be another potion of uh, kill myself. It's going to be something else, completely different. Could be a potion of life. Oh, we got chainmail. Nice. So I I don't know if this is true, but I believe uh, lower tier armors, like the ones you find at the first floor, so the ones with a lower strength requirement, because you can see like this one has a, a thirteen strength requirement. Those uh, lower tier armors, I believe, have a higher chance of having runics, and runics are the uh, the unique enchantments, which basically, if you find a, a piece of armor with a runic, that's the piece of armor you're going to be he keeping, because uh, most of them, as long as it's not, well, cursed, most of them are awesome. So we've got water now instead of the pit, and I'm actually way more scared of water in this game, because of the uh, the aforementioned eel. So apparently, I don't think they show up on floor number one. Pop the blood wart, get the heal. Oh, it's just in the way anyways, but we want full HP. Bunch of rats. I'm gonna wait for them. Nothing in this room. I think we've ex yeah, we've explored it all. Let's go down. To level two, uh, and uh, another chasm. Stealth kill, nice. I don't know what this. Uh, oh, it, yeah. Okay, so it's clouds of explosive gas. I was about to say I. I don't know what the swamp or the mud does. I believe if uh, if it catches on fire, it can act, it can release uh, well vomit gas essentially, which causes you to miss a turn maybe. 
Oh no. The monkey punches you, the monkey stole chain mail. You hit the monkey. Oh, the dart missed the monkey. The dart hit the monkey. The dart hit the monkey. The dart killed the monkey. Motherfucker. So monkeys, uh, yeah, they, they just try to run away with your, your shit, basically. Which is why you gotta have, uh, ranged weapons at, at, uh, at the ready when you see monkeys. Cause, uh, they will, um, unless you find a way to, like, trap them or exploit their pathing, they're gonna run away and you won't be able to catch them. At least I won't, because I'm inept. I'm gonna press S to search a bit here in case there's a hidden door. Because there's a lot of the map here that isn't, uh, well, that isn't being used right now. Which makes me suspect there's a hidden door somewhere. Or there's a door in this blackness and I just haven't found it. Yep, I didn't find it yet. Uh, blood warts, by the way, heal enemies as well, I, I think. Which is why you wait at the edge of it and let them come to you. Hidden door? Hidden door. Green potion and another scroll. And I believe that's it. Yeah, let's go down. Step three. So we're back where we got in the other one. <laughs> the very, very short run. Okay, so we've got here a, a locked iron door. So we need to find a key, which is what we found in the other run. And it knocked us down a, uh, a floor. There's a sleeping goblin. So goblins are quite tough for a, well, a 12 strength person with leather armor and a dagger. So we want to tr start trying these potions soon. There's no water here though. Was there wa water on the last floor? I actually forgot. I was about to try the potion here because it's a blood wart which you can use to heal but there's also grass everywhere and if it's a potion of incineration that fire is gonna spread. Which would be really bad. Maybe we'll chance it and test everything next floor. We've got a pit so we can toss it down and then test it later. I think we're gonna try that. Oof. There's a bloat and it spotted us. So that's gonna release the caustic gas which killed us last, uh, last run. And the rat is in the way. Fuck. Not anymore. Oh god. Okay. And the rat died. Killed by the caustic gas. Up. Oh. Alright, we're good, we're good. Not if I do that. Let's wait until it fades. And take some bad damage on that rat. Let's see how much m more can we... Okay, so five more enemy... Uh, five more items, I mean. We should have enough room to, uh, to move all the way down to the next floor without tossing anything. This might be a puzzle of some sort. Oh, we're gonna need a, a potion of levitation to get across there. Yeah. To get to that key. Dude, that's so cool. I, I love stuff like that in these games. There's a um, another roguelike which is uh, is more roguelite-y or I don't know more more modern uh, of roguelike. Not that this isn't modern. This is a very modernized uh, approach to the old style of roguelikes. But it's more of the uh, the new school of roguelikes. It's called Unexplored, and it's actually I believe based or I mean inspired on this game uh, from this by this game rather. Uh, Unexplored on Steam. It's really good. It's only like. I don't know, 15 bucks maybe? It's been a while since I bought it, and a while since I played it. So... We have some duplicate potions, which are is going to be the, the potions I test first. We're going to test it next floor though, and then come back if we find a potion of levitation. So, another reason you can... Uh, I want to go down is because... Uh, wait, wait. Okay, there's, there's some grass up here, but another reason I want to go down is because if we test the potion here and it's really bad, we can just run upstairs. Let's run upstairs. And wait. 
that caustic gas is still being uh, loaded or treated by the game as like being loaded into the game and uh, it's being simulated on the next floor so we can just wait up here for it to fade there we go aquamarine potions two of them and a lot of traps traps are so good because you can use them to your advantage here let's let the goblin pass never mind let's fight him I was just looking around the grass to see if there were any uh, any scrolls because if we drink a potion that lights all of this grass grass on fire, it's gonna also light the scro uh, scrolls on fire, and you're gonna lose all of them, and that's bad. Well, it, it might be good if the scrolls are trash. They can be cursed, obviously. So let's drink the scarlet one. Let's hope the red one isn't fire. It isn't. Potion of levitation. Let's go. Oh, I hope I have enough to not use the other one. Oh, 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 never mind. Oh, that's so cool. It creates a path for us. Careful. Now, this is going to be... Oh, this is going to be a treasure room, which means it very well might contain... Tre uh, contain... Um, magical treasure and I don't mean these I mean these so we got the stuff staff of discord here it's got two uses and can cause a lot of enemies to fight each other which is really good or cross one enemy rather got a dagger it might seem useless but this one might actually contain a, uh, a runic an enchantment Got a wand of empowerment, which is really cool. Which we can use to empower an ally, but we have no allies. We might get one later on. It's essentially like uh, using a strength potion on a friend. And we've got an axe. Could be a runic. And the arc of its swing permits you to attack all adjacent enemies simultaneously. That's really cool. So you gotta uh, you gotta like target one, and then it's gonna hit all of the enemies that are around you. I believe in a in a like eight directional area around you. And then we've got scale mail here. We already picked up chain mail, I believe. So, but this one might have a runic. And we've got a staff of lightning. Staff of lightnings are really good, like all purpose ranged weapons, because all the staffs regenerate, and and that way you can just keep, well, keep zapping away at bloats and at monkeys running away with your fucking potions. Uh, we're gonna go with the axe, I think. Double check where it is. Because you only get to take one. And then... Oh, there was a Staff of Conjuration I didn't see. Summons a number of Phantom Blades to fight on your behalf. That's really useful to, like, escape and stuff. Oh, well. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's test the, uh... Let's test the Hickory Staff if this goblin is still around. He stopped chasing me. Let's test it on the rat, actually. Staff of Healing. Okay, well, that... We're gonna keep it. But we're not gonna cast it on rats anymore. <laughs> what we can do with it, though, is we can... Again, if we, if we get an ally... Uh, we can heal them up. So we're hungry, we're gonna eat... Uh, oh, a mango. We're gonna eat the mango first. No, we're gonna eat, eat the rations because they fill us up completely and I believe the mango only fills you up slightly. Oh. The monkey spotted us after it ran past us. Hmm. Stole a green potion. Dark time. There we go. 
Let's go to the water and let's test the other potions. Aquamarine. Potion of strength. There we go. Oh, fuck you, eel. Alright, so at least we've got the potion of strength down. So we, we can just drink all of them. There's no re uh, reason to keep them in your inventory. Next, we're gonna try to drink the tan potion. Potion of life increases max life by 33%. So one third. And it heals you to max health as well. So those you can actually keep around for like an emergency. Indigo potion was a uh, potion of trip balls. This one is actually quite fun, uh, especially if you haven't played the game a lot, because you get to see all the crazy different creatures that might or might not be down here in the, the dungeon. So that eel is now a mangrove dryad who is humming. Now it's an arrow turret. A dragon, an eel that's dancing. A quivering explosive loat. A po pontificating, uh, pontificating salamander. Salamanders I know are real because they come out of lava pits and they are terrifying. A fury, I've seen those as well. So this is like the uh, the potion of spoilers, essentially. Tentacle holder, horror, warden of Yendor. I'm I'm guessing I'm gonna have to fight you later on. Lich, oof. We're just gonna wait here for a while, cause the uh, well the, the hallucinating shouldn't be that bad on depth four. It's not like we're gonna expect to hit a rat and then hit you know a wraith. That's an eel. Is there an alternate path around this bullshit? This eel pit. No. Well, we've got that potion of levitation. That's not an eel. Eels don't run on land. It's not a troll either. I'm stuck in a net. The eel that's not an eel, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit them. They they're dying in two hits, so probably a rat. Or a kobold, I don't know. We'll never know, because they don't leave behind corpses in this game. They do it in, in net tag and stuff, but net tag is really weird about it, because so, you have to you have to eat the corpses, uh, and they give you powers. If you eat an, uh, enough of them. So, often what ends up happening is that in your average net tag player commits a gnome genocide and eats... The corpses of countless gnomes. Which, um, I mean, it's gotta be a, a game for everybody out there. Wide open room with a scroll. So we, we got across at least. So we can play the game again. Lava pit. I don't know if, uh, if there are staffs of force in this game or if that's only in G-Brogue, which is like the a fan fork that I've played a little bit of. Uh, but I know there are weapons of force, so if we have a, uh, I, I used to have a rapier of force in one run, which would knock enemies far away, so you can knock them into lava and stuff. It was awesome. I don't know what this guy is. I'm gonna chance it, though. So he's not a bloat, at least. You hallucinate for way too long, dude. <laughs> All right, we're we're done. I see no way down. There is always a way down. And there's always a way to get to the way down. Which means the way down is hidden. I'm gonna guess over here. No. I'm hitting S to search. It quote unquote wastes a turn, which means you get hungry. Oh, there we go. Found it. Which means you gotta eat more and eventually you might starve to death. We have a- oh my god, we got plate armor. We have a lot of items here. That plate armor, 100%, I'm gonna call it right now, it's cursed. And we're gonna find out next video.